Hey everybody, it's Dr. Apple Raju here, and I've got a concept dental moment for you. How many of you during this COVID crisis, especially early on, went to the grocery store or to a shop and noticed that the shelves were empty? Uh, if you've been to one of those in the last little while, you'll see that they're fully stocked. But how did you feel when you were in the grocery store and you realized that your favorite foods were missing? A lot of the supplies, I mean, people were taking toilet paper, but that was just one item. There was a lot of stuff that was not on your grocery shelves. Did, did you have some fear? Were you a little bit anxious about what was to come or maybe to come? Or maybe you were not anxious at all. I know for me it was a bit of a shock growing up in Canada and being here for 40 plus years. Seeing empty shelves was a bit of a shocker for me but it did make me realize that fear is a big factor and if you do watch a lot of news or social media you'll see a lot of negativity there so um, you know that stuff gets into your brain and your subconscious and you start projecting those things around you and in your life and uh, standing in the grocery and looking for products that were non-existent even though we were told there was no shortages of food and this sort of stuff it makes you think and do you have to hoard cans of food and you know stuff that you can store for a while and make a bunker at your house and this type of mentality my wife even strangely thought there'd be major uprisings and maybe we should arm ourselves to protect our house and our kids from people marauding and you know stuff that, stuff that would have maybe happened 200 years ago or 150 years ago people would overrun villages and take the food and, and that type of stuff and as odd and scary as that time seem to be it seems to be lifting now as we're opening but it just got, got me thinking about what do people think about when they go to the dentist and uh, I will relate a story because I've been doing sedation dentistry for a number of years here and I have observed something that commonly happens for people that don't have anxiety and this is people that didn't have a bad experience at the dentist um, people that you know feel comfortable but I think the more you sit in a dental chair look at the ceiling see the bright lights and people with masks and face shields now and all kinds of headgear and all this stuff it seems to provoke anxiety and years ago I had a lady that was 50 years out meaning she had a dental visit as a child and was so severely traumatized and made anxious that she did not go to the dentist for 50 years that's the longest I've so she literally came to see me when she was roughly 72 and with two roots or two teeth in her mouth and she really came for the sedation dentistry but after talking to her um, we basically found out she didn't really need it um, and we did help her along get those teeth out without sedation and we got her a pair of dentures and she literally looked 10 years younger and was over the moon and even her grandkids had commented that oh granny you look so much younger with your teeth and she was happy as could be but that is a common fear provoking thing for patients is going to the dentist and uh, just over the last six months we've had patients uh, a gentleman 43 years out and another gentleman 35 years out I, what I've seen over the last 15 plus years of doing sedation here in Red Deer is uh, most people stay out for five to ten years and uh, we luckily can get them in in time to save teeth sometimes it's too late but uh, we do try to consult and help our patients get through their visits whether it's IV sedation oral sedation or laughing gas and oral sedation part of that is a open communication we have with our patients but I just want you to think about those around you or maybe yourself a colleague or a friend or family member who's avoided the dentist for years things don't get better unfortunately they just tend to get worse and it's I, my hope that we get people in whether it's here or we can get them care somewhere in Red Deer or Alberta to take care of their health it's not just your mouth we often say the mouth is the gateway to your health and uh, really we've only got one life so why not live it well that's it for now if you do know anybody that is in need of care certainly get them in to see their, your local dentist or if um, they don't offer those services uh, we'd certainly welcome them with open arms and take care of them just like our family from us right now take care be safe everybody